So what's up guys, today we're gonna learn how to bake amid occlusion, but not just of a simple game asset with perfect UVs. No, we're gonna bake a complex car. So we're gonna learn how to bake a full car with a lot of materials, a lot of parts and no UVs. So yeah, it sounds pretty complicated, sounds pretty complex, but actually in this video, you'll see it's very straightforward and very simple. And this process can be scripted and coded. So why would you bake something anyway? So I set up a simple unity scene here. And as you can see, amino occlusion instantly improves the visual quality. You can use stuff like screen space or horizon based or whatever based uh, amino occlusion, but it's usually very performant. Um, and yeah, you try to not use these things. So as you can see my frame rate, I have a frame rate far over <laughs> 1000 FPS. So this is a very lightweight path to choose. Um, why would you not just bake everything? Because you have to separate between dynamic and static parts. So anything that moves, usually it's hard to bake stuff. You can sometimes bake and lerp between bake maps, but that's not what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna uh, do classic static I mean, occlusion baking using Blender. You can also use different softwares as you can probably imagine, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you a very straightforward free way of dealing with complex objects and baking amid occlusion. So let's jump right into Blender. So we're inside Blender. Uh, this is the car we're gonna bake today. We will bake amid occlusion only, but also before we bake anything in general, we're gonna hide anything that is glass or transparent because in a real-time engine, glass and transparency usually don't need anything baked. It's gonna be fully real-time. So just add it to a separate collection, call it glass or don't bake or whatever. So the first part or group we're gonna bake is the car paint. So we're gonna have this as one main group. So we've got one focused map for car paint. Um, before we do anything, we're gonna add a separate channel only for the light map. I don't need this in this case, but you might need this on a real production. So that's how it's done. We will use the simple smart UV unwrap, nothing crazy here. And I will pack it up with the UV pack master. You can also use Maya, it has a great packing tool. You can also skip the packing completely, but as you can see, packing definitely makes sense. How you pack it, uh, you can pretty much choose. There's a lot of ways, this is one way. Um, next, usually you separate between dynamic and static parts and the wheels are dynamic parts if the car should ever be rolling or driving. So hide everything that's dynamic. The baking process is a bit different on dynamic parts and that's not what we're gonna do today. We're only gonna do static parts. So just get rid of the wheels. Don't delete them, but put them on a separate layer. So our second group next to the car paint is just everything except the car paint. Um, so same procedure. I'm just gonna use a smart unwrap here pack it up with the UV pack master. As mentioned, you can also use Maya or other tools. There's a lot of packing solutions. Um, just try to find your own best way for that. Um, so now it's packed up. I'm gonna duplicate this car with Shift D and hide the main car. So I'll separate the main car from the baking car because I will manipulate materials and meshes to speed up the baking process. If you don't wanna do that, there's a standard way of doing it uh, without breaking stuff. I'm gonna show you right now. So go to the shader editor, create an image texture that you would bake on and then group it up. That's very important because now it's an instance. So if you copy and paste this instance into your other shaders and materials, if you change the texture later on, it's gonna change for all the materials. <laughs> so don't create unique image textures for every material, that wouldn't be good. But we won't do that anyway. So I'm gonna delete all the materials, add a bake material because this will really increase the bake speed to have only material, uh, one material. And also we're only doing amid occlusion. So create a simple diffuse shader, make it completely white. And also here, create an image texture, no need to group it um, since we just need one on one material. I'm using 4K here on real time engines. You can go up to 8K, but 4K should be, yeah, plenty. <laughs> so, one group down and car paint group down as well. I will also duplicate this car paint because we don't want to bake a real car paint into the map. Uh, we only want ambient occlusion in this case. So, I will kill the principal shader on our duplicate, not on the actual car, hook up a white diffuse shader and also create a image texture. This is a second image texture. So bake underscore car paint is what I'm calling it also 4K. So we have two maps so far. We're gonna enable the wheels uh, because we need it for the shadow calculation, but we won't bake the wheels. So now I'm creating a plane. You can maybe imagine why. This is gonna be our third group in the baking process, and this is gonna be our shadow. It always makes sense to bake in an ambient occlusion shadow because you can parent this to the car, and if you ever wanna drive the car, 
it still looks really good. Um, so it's still better than calculating a actual real-time shadow. So always try to bake as much as possible. Here, 1K is more than enough uh, since it's a quite blurry baked shadow. It's not very tight. Um, so yeah, now you're just gonna select everything you wanna bake. So everything except the wheels and keep glass hidden. Otherwise it will throw shadows into the interior. We don't want that. So go to ambient occlusion, bake mode. You can also use combine, depends on what you want to achieve. Um, I use a margin of four usually, and then basically just bake it out. So once it's finished, you're going to have three maps, the floor, the car paint, and everything else. <laughs> so go to the flat mode, texture mode. You can check out what you've baked. And as you can see, everything worked pretty much perfectly. Um, this process can completely be scripted. So it's a completely automized process. I use this all the time since projects are usually paid with money and they don't pay for unnecessary work. So I usually choose the fastest way possible. And this is a very fast way on doing it. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of grain in the bakes, but that's not a problem. We're just gonna use the denoiser node, denoiser node, but not hook up any renderings. We're gonna hook up our baked maps. Um, when you hook up the baked maps, keep in mind that the render resolution has to match the resolution of the baked map. So in this case, just a square 4K map. Also, don't forget to go to um, standard color space or color management. Otherwise, you will have this gray shade in the bake and no one wants that. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something. Um, I can imagine if some people like this video, you probably now want to learn how to deal with dynamic parts, maybe how to deal with Chrome and deal with complex, more complex baking techniques. I maybe will make a video on that topic. Um, let's see. So yeah, have fun with Amity Inclusion till then and goodbye.